Hey, Carson, how have you tried to stay mentally and physically engaged during this time away? Uh, so all last week we had Zoom meetings instead of uh, our in-person meetings before practice. So we did that all on Zoom so everyone can make that. That was keeping us mentally prepared. We had lifts and workout like Wednesday through Saturday. And another week of this, uh, um, I, I know some guys are banged up. That's probably good for them. But for guys that are healthy, how difficult is it sitting out two weeks? You know, it's sitting out definitely throws everybody off kind of. Uh, like, what are we doing day to day now? Like, who are we going to prepare for? Like, that's kind of everyone's thought process. But right now, we're going getting ready for practice. Thank you. All right, let's go to Olin Buchanan from TexAgs.com. Optimistic or confident or whatever word you want to use, would you be uh, for when you all get to uh, – get back on the field that that you'll be able to pick off uh, pick back up where y'all left off because y'all were playing so well mm -hmm. we were all playing very well you know the whole team was uh right now you know we're just focused on getting better today at practice uh the guys that can be out there that's the main thing is that you know we get our minds right get off the whole uh week off break and that we need to start focusing you know today i think we're gonna do a lot of uh just kind of almost like a bi-week practice where we're going to focus on our little things, technique, and also going some good on good so we can get back into shape. Do you guys uh, ever talk, talk among yourself about uh, the, the, quote, playoff possibilities? Uh, no, sir. Not right now. Like some people do here and there. You know, you just kind of hear it everywhere. But right now we're just trying to get better each week. You know, we know that what we need to do is to get better, like, as an individual player and as a team, and as a position group for O-line. And so we have our own personal goals. And, you know, nobody really thinks about that far in ahead. You just kind of need to focus week to week, day to day. Thank you. Let's go to Brent Zorman from the Houston Chronicle. Carson, is there a silver lining, though, that maybe these games are now closer? The, the playoff committee is supposed to make a final decision December 20th, although that might get pushed back. Silver lining being, I know you'd rather be playing right now, but those two games are now much closer to that decision. You all would be fresher on their minds if you do, you know, kind of run the table from here. Uh, I have no idea when they're making a decision. I guess you said it. Uh, again, there's nothing, you know, like most people that are making those decisions never played football or don't play football. So I really don't care what they have to say. You know, we just got to, we just got to win every game. You know, it's going to be a tough next four games whoever and whenever we get to play. So that's what we're kind of focusing on. Five straight games without a, a sack. Is that something the offensive linemen members talk openly about or is, or is it almost like a no hitter in that situation? Do y'all keep it on the down low? Uh, you know, it looks good. Uh, you know, there's other stats that people don't talk about. You know, everyone likes to talk about the no sacks, but you know, we have to look at pressures. Pressures almost just as big as sacks. You know, if you, you know, if some guy gets like eight pressures a game, but you didn't let up a single sack, there might have been, you know, he might have thrown an interception because of the pressure. And nobody ever talks about that because it wasn't technically a sack. But, you know, pressures and quarterback hits, that's big things that we take almost just as highly as sacks. Because, you know, uh, a sack, you know, always just try to blame the old lineman. You know, obviously we're a good scapegoat. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's the tight end is the block, the running back. Maybe we weren't in the right protection. Maybe, uh, you know, the ball had to be out faster. Maybe it was a receiver that ran the wrong route. Like, so nobody really knows. The main thing we try to focus on is quarterback hits. We don't want Kellen getting hit at all. You know, if we can keep him clean the whole game, that we did our job. And then uh, no pressures, and then the sacks, another big one too. Distant memory, but what is that feeling like for an offensive lineman in general when a, a defender beats you and you see your quarterback get just crushed at that at that moment? Well, it's not a good feeling. You're pretty pissed off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just, I'm not going to let it happen again. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, let's go to Zach Taylor from WTAW. Yeah, Carson, um, I guess another silver lining you might could take away from this is you guys have more prep time for these teams. Could that, could you say that could be one as well? Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, it was kind of like last week. We didn't know if we were playing and we found out we weren't playing. So then we were kind of... The main thing we're doing right now is uh, just working on stuff and studying a lot of film just on us individually, 
So like an old line, we did all of our cut up tapes of like plays we, you know, we needed to correct to not happen again. You know, because we know we're going to go on a four game streak. That's going to be tough. You know, all these teams are going to be good. A couple of them are going to be on the road. A couple of them are at home. So the main thing and we were looking at was just focus on us. Gotcha. Sorry. Uh, and as far as the coronavirus, I mean, do you think there's anything that you guys can do better to help avoid? Uh, other people getting getting the positive tests, other players getting positive, or is it just something that it, it happens? Uh, no, it happens. Like, there's nothing. Because uh, realistically, I think you all know, I think it was only one or two guys that actually got it. It's the contact tracing, and we were in an airplane all together. And so, you know, I'm going to say right now, I think that we did a good job of having herd immunity because – not to tweet our own horn, but the old line, I think it's only got like a couple people that haven't already had it. So like, we're good there. I guess we really weren't following the whole, no, go to the bars or nothing. No, I'm joking. Like we don't go to that, but, uh, but honestly right now, uh, the training staff is doing a great job. Like they got it so down that we have to open up, like we have individual little waters. We don't use the Gatorade bottles anymore. So that just in case that's spreading. So I think it's just, it just happens. You really can't do anything about it. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay, let's go to Tyler Shaw from KBTX. Hey, Carson. Uh, Jimbo was saying, um, you know, at this point, you can't really complain about you know having these postponed games because at one point, you know, you didn't really know if you were even going to play. Do you ever think about that? Just considering, you know, this whole year and, and, and just how weird it's been that. Um, I mean, you're just grateful that you've been able to get this far, play these games, and there's still, you know, an end of a season in sight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2020 has been a hell of a year. Uh, you know, everyone when it started with spring ball. You know, some people were sad. Some people were like, okay, no spring ball. Then we were like, oh, it won't last to, you know, the season. You know, we were talking about just the roller coaster emotions. We went from there's no way we're playing, like, during July to, oh, my God, we're going to play to – that one little scare when the two conferences backed out and everyone's freaking out, the SEC might crumble. And, you know, we kept playing, we kept doing it. So right now, like, we, there's been a lot of obstacles for us to play. So it's just another obstacle we have to get over. All right, we got a couple more questions. We got Mike Lucas from KAGS and then Xi'an from Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Hey, Carson, Jimbo mentioned you guys had about 40-something players at practice this week and, and last week. So I'm curious, can you guys get better with such small numbers in practice? And if so, how do you guys improve without having a full team? Um, like, obviously, last week, we didn't uh, practice. We did a lot more conditioning, staying in shape, and, you know, the mental part of it. Like I was saying, the O-line was going over all the corrections so we know what not to do in the future. Um, you know, we're missing a lot of guys, but that means a lot of young guys are going to step up this week and actually do a lot more reps than they probably thought they were. Uh, I know as O-line, D-line, we're, I think most of our position group is all good, so we're going to get to go against each other the whole time. Uh, that'll be good, kind of just keeping us in shape, you know, letting us get the hit, but not too hard. Um, I think the main thing is, you know, you're missing, uh, you're missing some guys, so that means other guys get to step up and play. You know, they get to play later in the season. That'll make them happy to get to practice more and, you know, kind of show what they can do. All right, next up is uh, Shehan Jayaraja from Dave Campbell's Texas Football, and then we'll go to Owen Buchanan. Hey, Carson, can you kind of take us inside? I mean, how frustrating is it kind of when you guys are sort of getting into this rhythm to, to all of a sudden kind of lose two games like that? Uh, you know, it's frustrating, obviously, I think. Not only us, but I think the fans, you know, the 12th man himself, I think they're, everyone's pretty upset about this. But again, uh, nothing we can do about it. It happens. You just kind of got to control what you can control. You know, you can't control the weather. You can't control, you know, what the refs say. You can't control anything. So it's, this is kind of the same deal. The only thing we can focus on is just either going to our gym meetings or going to practice right now and get better. And we'll finish up with Owen Buchanan from Texas. Yeah, Carson. Um, hey, uh, first of all, what's kind of what's it like? Uh, you know, 
I guess this time a year ago, y'all were hearing how bad you are, and now as an offensive line, all you hear is how great you are. And do you want to ever find some of those folks, uh, you know, that were so critical and say, uh, you know, tell them that, uh, you know, you, 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 we didn't know what we were talking about or whatnot? No, no. Uh, you know, it's just their job. You know, our job, we should just, we should have been doing this good last year. We would, I guess people weren't being so mean to us, but. Again, I really don't. I really don't try to read in all that. Again, it's somebody that's a keyboard warrior, so they're probably, you know, if they're gonna make fun of me, dude. Line up right in front of me. And let's see what you can do. You know, half time. I think more than half the time, it's 100%. They won't be able to do anything. So you just kind of gotta the good or the bad, just ignore it all.